Alex at Total Head Turners and today I'm going to show you around and tell you a little bit about a Southern Roadcraft Cobra. Um, Southern Roadcraft as a company started around about 1984, something like that. Um, built mainly Cobra replicas. They also did, a, I think, a Daytona uh, Ferrari type replica. Um, the Cobras are really, really well built. They've got a lovely ladder frame steel chassis. Um, the company had did go out of business and restart up under the name of Magic Cars, uh, but the design and the cars were the same. I believe Southern Roadcraft, and I can't remember one of the other manufacturers, both used the same body mold off the same original Cobra. And uh, this is a really great car. We've got it here for sale at the moment. Uh, built and registered around about 1998, less than 5,000 miles on the clock and a really great spec. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about it, take it out for a run and give you a little lowdown on it. If you look around the front, this car has been left debumpered. So it's got no front and rear bumpers or lifter jacks. We at Head Turners can obviously retrofit bumpers or lifter jacks or swap them around on any car, but the debumpered look gives you a really cool, smooth, classic look to the front of the car. Clear indicators are optional. This car's got a grille fitted in the nose. This is also removable. And behind there on this car, there is an oil cooler down in the oil cooler scoop. Beautiful blue colour with the white stripes. The most favoured uh, Cobra colour is, uh, we used to say you can have them in any colour as long as it's blue with white stripes. Um, you've got wind deflectors and sun visors, help aid getting the wind around you when you're out there blasting around. Mirrors mounted in a good place up on the uh, window pillar, uh, which give you much better vision over the rear arches. It's got a single hoop roll bar. I believe this one started life with the full width roll bar. Again, I think we may have done this years ago at Head Turners. You're able to remove this, put in a full, put in a single, or put in two singles. We can option and change around and put to the customer's specification. We've got aluminium stone guards to help protect the rear wings. You can see some bits of mud flicked up where we've been thrashing around in her. And some lovely polished stainless steel four into one side exhausts. We've got a nice big chrome flip top fuel filler in the centre. Nice and easy to fill the car from either side. And um, again, that debumpered look around the back, which just shows off the beautiful curves and the shape. Particularly like the flash number plate on this, a 69 body um, made up of A698 ODY, but nice cool addition. And um, inside, classic black leather interior. Um, I'm a personal fan of black leather. It's easier, doesn't show the dirt, doesn't matter if it gets dust and leaves on it when it's outside as much. Um, again, here at Head Turners, we can custom interiors if people particularly want cream leather, red leather, uh, you name it, but I like this as it is. Williams harness seat belts, lovely classic Smiths instruments, nicely clustered in the middle, so everything's very easy to see. Um, Somebody's uh, quite funny and has put bang at six and a half thousand revs on the rev counter. Uh, you probably want to change gear at five and a half to six thousand um, long before you get there. And uh, a beautiful wood rim um, motor leader steering wheel. When you look under the bonnet of this car, you'll see this car is fitted with the lightweight aluminium Rover V8. Um, most of us in the trade who know Cobras and buy and sell lots of them, to actually drive around the British country lanes, the lighter, smaller aluminium V8s give you a much nicer, easier driving um, car. They're much more balanced. Uh, the engine is no heavier than a two litre Sierra engine. Uh, being an aluminium block means a lighter steering, lighter clutch, um, and a much nicer balanced car for pushing around the corners. This particular Rover is a 4.1 litre. Uh, it's got quite a good spec and produces brilliant power. And uh, in a nice, solid, rigid Southern Roadcraft chassis, means it's a really good car. The running gear on the Southern Roadcraft is a Jaguar. So you've got Jaguar wishbones, Jaguar hubs and four pot caliper disc brakes, vented discs. And then we've got a Jaguar Salisbury differential in the back with um, Jaguar inboard disc brakes and great big four pot calipers. So excellent braking, excellent rigid chassis. Um, combined with a nice lightweight V8 engine gives you a beautiful sounding and performing car with a really lovely balance of weight all around. 
We've got Halle Brand style alloy wheels on Pirelli tyres on this car. Black inserts at head turners we can option and change the inserts to grey, to silver, to white, to black, any colour you want. We've got false aluminium spinners to give you the look, but nice safety five wheel nuts holding the wheels on. And um, this particular car's got a nice balance. It's got 16 inch wheels on it, which just give you a bit less uh, tyre movement at high speed, meaning you can really drive her. Southern road crafts are really, really good cars. They're quite an old uh, design of Cobra. Um, probably started around the mid 80s, but we've had some lovely Southern road crafts over the year. And this car, quite a favorite of mine. It's a lovely driving car, really good power with a lightweight engine. sound of a Rover V8 with the right side pipes on is excellent as well. Lovely rigid chassis. The chassis is really nice and rigid, supports the car well. Jaguar running gear gives you nice big brakes, nice strong rear axle. Lovely amounts of torque, light steering with a Rover V8 engine because there's no weight over the front wheels. Um, the clutches are very light on the Rover as well in comparison to the bigger American engines. Nice balance with a light aluminium engine, um, makes the car dance much easier, easier to turn, easier to move around. But a very easy car to cruise around, drive fast slide through the lanes, really good fun, and um, makes all the right noises and looks really cool. Plenty of low down power to pull the car around. Nice layout there with the dash. Everything's in the middle, easy to see. Nice motor litre wood rim steering wheel. It's a nice and easy Cobra to drive. 
much easier with the smaller aluminium V8s than the bigger ones. I think as I touched on before, lighter steering, lighter clutch, just an easier car to drive around in. Amazing sound, still very fast. Five speed gearbox, so in fifth gear, 50 mile an hour, 1500 RPM. Nice and easy. That was a great drive out in the Southern Roadcraft Cobra. If you want to find out more about all the different makes and models here at Total Head Turners, we'll have anything from a Pilgrim to a Dax, AK, Southern Roadcraft, Garner Douglas, Ram, lots of other makes and models, all the way up to Kirkham, Superformance. If you're looking for a Cobra, want to find out more, come and have a look at our website. You can find us at www.totalheadturners.com. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, but best of all, we like people who pick up the phone, have a chat with us, come down and see us, and have a look at the wide range of Cobras that we've got, and I'm sure we'll find something that you'll fall in love with.